Now that we've fully read and understood our manual and become familiar with the components on the machine, we're ready to start operations. The first thing we need to do is consult our operation of valve chart. If the machine was properly shut down, the first operation you'll see is letter A, solvent recovery, in the valves and their positions. So we have our valves labeled here. We've got valve one, main tank suction, valve two, solvent suction, valve three, fill line or air clean out. Valve four is the filter suction valve. Here's one. Moving back, we've got two. Three is here. And four is down below the bottom of the strainer basket. Become familiar with these valves as they are very important to the operation of valves chart. Moving to the rear of the machine, we will have another operation of valve chart and the rest of our remaining valve deck. As you can see, they are all nicely labeled, starting with five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Valve five is to our spray wand. Valve six is to our spray bar. Valve seven is the pneumatic valve, the air actuated one that allows material to go to the spray bar with a press of a button. Valve eight, bars recirculation. Valve nine, tank recirculation. Valve ten, also tank recirculation. And you'll see them here. There's five. Six, seven is the pneumatic valve, as I had stated. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 is a discharge. Now this can be quite confusing. There are a lot of valves, but rest assured, the operation of valve charts will get you through it, depending on the operation you want to perform. So let's start with the first operation, assuming that our machine was shut down properly, this system will be full of solvent from the last time we used the machine. We say that it will be full of solvent because the last time that it was used, it was cleaned out with air and then recirculated with solvent and we leave the solvent in the system to ensure that there's no buildup of sticky material for the next time we want to use it. So let's go ahead with the first operation. The first operation is solvent recovery because we have all the solvent in the line, so we need to get it back into the solvent tank. In order to recover the solvent out of the system, valve one will need to be closed. Valve two will also need to be closed. This is the valve that sucks from the solvent tank. We will have valve three open as this will allow clean air to come into the system, go through the pump and force everything to the rear of the machine. Now we go back to the rear of the machine and we consult solvent recovery and it'll tell you here valve 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 in their positions. So in order to recover all the solvent out of this system, number 11 is our return to solvent tank valve. So right now we're going to pass air through the front. It's going to come in and it's going to come right back to here. And wherever you direct it to go from here, is what's going to clean out with air. So we will also open valve six. Now the air is coming through here, going this direction. It has nowhere to go once it goes to that U because this one is closed, number nine. So it's going to come into six, which is right here. It's going to come into six. It's going to follow this route. It's going to follow this hose. Go into the spray bar. Now, mind you, we're just pushing air through. It's gonna go this way, and it's gonna come up into the other hose, where it's gonna follow the plumbing, and it's going to bypass valve seven at this time because we're not actuating the valve, which means this three-way valve is gonna allow the material to either go to the spray bar, or it's gonna go back to the main manifold over here. So when it's off, it's gonna to come to the main manifold, it's going to follow this route. It's going to be in the open position. And now all the clean air is going to route from this point where it comes into the rear manifold. It's going to go down through the plumbing this way 
It's gonna hang another left, go down and around, all through the spray bar, back up to number eight. It's gonna follow eight right back up to here. And then it's got nowhere to go because 10 is closed, return to tank, but 11 is open, which is the return to solvent tank. And everything will be pumped back to the solvent tank. That's our air cleanout procedure and solvent recovery.